Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson, and today is Friday, August 25th, 2023, and today I'm discussing the Omicron subvariant BA 2.6. Now, this subvariant BA 2.86 has been nicknamed Parola by variant hunters on social media. It's a descendant of the Omicron BA2 family tree. Remember, this uh, Omicron subvariant helped spark a wave of global infections in the spring of 2022. Now, the CDC and the World Health Organization are monitoring this new variant because it is so highly mutated. And the experts say that this one may be capable, uh, more capable than older variants of breaking through the immune uh, protection that we've had from either previous COVID infection or our vaccinations. So translation is that even if you're vaccinated or boosted, or if you've had previous COVID-19, your antibody immunity may not recognize this new variant because it's so highly mutated. Now, only a handful of these variant sequences have been done across the globe, but genomic sequencing is woefully inadequate. Now, the CDC has said it's too soon to know whether this variant is going to cause more severe illness compared to previous variants. Now, where has it been detected? It's been found in U.S. wastewater studies. It's been detected in Japan, the United Kingdom, China, India, Denmark, Israel, Switzerland, and Thailand, and South Africa, as far as I know as of today. Now, this means that this variant is circulating globally. Now, there is good news that researchers are saying that Paxlovid will be effective against it and the rapid antigen test and the PCR test will be accurate in terms of detecting this. Now, uh, experts believe that our new vaccines, which are coming out in the fall, will provide coverage as well. So the bottom line is, folks, don't panic. Uh, virus experts from all over the world are saying at this time, as of August 25th, 2023. There's no reason to sound the alarm. Try not to be worried or afraid. We've seen other variants and so far experts haven't been able to accurately predict at all how this virus is going to evolve. We just know it keeps on mutating. Now, I know any type of discussion around COVID-19 is politically divisive. I get the divisiveness all the time on my social media posts. I do recognize that uh, the virus keeps throwing the unexpected curveball, and I recognize the dis disability that COVID-19 has caused and the profound impact on people who have lost loved ones. But we're in a different situation than we were in 2019 because we have tools in our toolbox, and many of us use these tools. And we have some level of population immunity that we did not have in 2019. So, you know, this is my opinion here. Uh, this virus is one version or another. It's going to be around for many years to come. I am an elder. I'm not going to exercise denialism or complacency. I do want to keep living my life. So I'm going to do what I can to make it happen. So that's my message. Stay safe. Stay well and have a good weekend. And to the parents out there who are sending your children and young adults back to school, I hope they have a great school year and that they can stay safe and healthy. Be well, folks. Take care, and I'll see you next time.